Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about limits of functions. The study of limits is an essential requirement to the understanding of calculus. This lesson aims to introduce the concept of a limit of a function as well as give its formal definition. With this, let us start off with defining what is a limit. Let f be a function defined at every number in some open interval containing c, except possibly at the number c itself. If the value of f is arbitrarily close to the number l or all values of x sufficiently close to c, then the limit of f of x as x approaches c is l. This is written as limit of f of x as x approaches c equals l. To illustrate this definition, let us take this example. Determine the limit of 3x squared as x approaches negative 1 using table of values. Constructing the table of values for f of x equals 3x squared, let us set the values of x to be negative 1.01, negative 1.001, negative 1.0001, negative 1, negative 0 0.9999, negative 0 0.999, and negative 0 0.99. As these are the values of x, we will be evaluating the values of f of x given its respective value for x. Say for example, if x is equal to negative 1.01, .01, substituting this on our function 3x squared, then f of x will be equal to 3.0603. If x is equal to negative 1.001, then f of x will be equal to 3 3.006003. If x is equal to negative 1.0001, then f of x is equal to 3.0006003, and so on and so forth. Notice that the values negative 1, 1.01, negative 1, 1.001, and negative 1.0001 are numbers from the left of negative 1. While the numbers negative 0 0.9999, negative 0 0.999, and negative 0 0.99 are numbers on the right of negative 1. Notice that from the table, as x approaches negative 1 from the left and right, the value of f of x approaches the value 3. Therefore, the limit of 3x squared as x approaches negative 1 is equal to 3. The graph below clearly shows that in the graph of the function f of x equals 3x squared as x approaches negative 1, f of x approaches the value 3. Therefore, we can now conclude that the limit of the given function 3x squared as x approaches negative 1 is 3. Let us take another example. Determine the limit of the function f of x as x approaches 0 given its graph below. Notice that the graph represents a line with a hole and a point 0, 1. The graph represents a piecewise function defined by f of x equals x plus 2 if x is not equal to 0 and 1 if x is equal to 0. Using the function, f of 0 is equal to 1. However, looking at the graph, as x approaches 0 from both directions, meaning from the left and from the right, f of x approaches 2. Therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 is equal to 2. Remember 
that the limit of a function as it approaches x equals c is not necessarily equal to its value at c. Thus, the limit of f of x as x approaches c can assume a value different from f of c. Meaning, we cannot easily say that the limit of a function as x approaches c is equal to f of c. Let us take another example. Using the graph of f of x below, determine its limit as x approaches 0. The limit of f of x as x approaches 0 does not exist. Why? Notice that from the left side of the graph, as x approaches 0, f of x approaches negative infinity, while from the right, f of x approaches positive infinity. Since f of x does not approach the same value, then the limit does not exist. Therefore, we can say that the limit of a function as x approaches c exists if f of c is defined or f of x approaches the same value as x moves closer to c from both directions left and right. We will have more examples about evaluating limits as we study evaluation of limits and the loss of limits on our next video. Thank you so much for listening and see you on our next discussion.